Are you bored of cutting your lawn? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to grow a lawn that doesn't need to be cut. Plus, along the way, we're going to be doing some interesting tests. Let's go. This is our test area. They explain to you the different things that we're going to do here. This section here, we're going to sow this out with a hardware and grass seed. Now, the grass seed that I'm going to use is something typical that would be in your own lawn or in everybody's lawn. Now, this is cool season grass for anybody that's in Canada or Australia. UK, wherever you are, today we're working with cool season grass, this is warm season. And this section here, we're going to put our test grass into. This is going to be the grass that hopefully doesn't need to be cut. So we'll have our grass that doesn't need to be cut. We'll have our normal hardware and lawn right out to here. And this bit, we're going to be testing other things in this bit. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get the black plastic off and we can start into the video. So we're on to the moment of truth now. We're going to take the black plastic off. The plastic's been on for the last two or three weeks, so let's see how dead the weeds are. Hopefully they are dead. Otherwise, we're going to have to put this video on hold. So our first step, we're going to aerate it to let the air down in, and then we're going to give it a really good heavy scarify. The lawn has now been aerated. Next step is to get the scar fire out and run the scar fire over it. So at the minute, Jason's doing the scar fire. We'll do that just to break up the surface. Now, the reason we show you this, the air rating in the scar fan. I wanted to show you from the very first, from the off, so as you can get to see how we plant the seed, how the seed grows, how it matures, and everything in between. So that's why we do it like this. Now that we have that scar fight off, our next job is to take the rake and just to uh, rake over any bits because there's a few bits that are sitting up. So I just want to give it a nice rake. I don't want to disturb the lines of the soil too much. I just want to take away any of the lumps that are sitting in the grass as we have a nice even surface to work from. So we're all raked off now. We're ready for the seed. So just to show you, this is the area here that we didn't kill off and that's going to be a test area. This here is going to be our hard worn grass seed mixture and this is hopefully going to be the grass that doesn't grow. This section here, which was our hard wearing grass seed mixture, the fescue and rye. For this bit here, I'm just going to talk you through some of the grass seeds we're going to be using. We have brown top bent, which is a very small grass seed. We have some fescues in here and we have some smooth stock meadow grass. Now, smooth stock meadow grass for our American viewers and our Australian viewers is also known as Kentucky bluegrass. It is also harder to grow here in the UK, but we're gonna have a go with it. So our next task is we're gonna take the topsoil, then we're gonna to top dress that material. We've now got it top dressed. We've now done the primary lawn shuffle. Now we're going to give it another rake and we'll put out the rest of the seed. Our next job, we're going to give it a really light rake just to get good seed to soil contact. I said at the start of the video that I was going to do different tests. So this little area here that had the grass grown in it that we didn't properly kill off, I'm going to do some tests with some iron. 
So just down to those posts there, we're just going to spray this bit with iron. I was told, I was always taught that you can't spray new grass with iron. That's what we're looking to. That's what we're looking to test. And then in two weeks' time, I'm going to come up whenever the grass starts to grow in that section. I'm going to come up and going to put some iron up there. It'll be interesting to see if this bit here grows because we're putting a fair bit of iron onto it now. Now we're going to go away, clean out the sprayer, and we're going to fill it with some seaweed, and we're going to spray the whole area with seaweed. If you want to find out why we use seaweed whenever we're seeding lawns, I'm going to leave a link down in the video description for a seaweed video. I travelled across Ireland to find out everything there is about seaweed. Really interesting watch, so if you want to learn more about seaweed, check out the video description. Just under three weeks into this project you can see that the main section is growing really well i have another section here that i killed off a couple of weeks ago i have another grass seed that i want to try out that i think will work really well but beside these other two this is the grass seed here that i'm looking to put onto it i'm not going to tell you exactly what it is but there's some very very fine grass seeds there So we'll put this electric fence around it because we have sheep in the field from time to time. So we just have that round it to obviously just stop the sheep from coming in and ruining it on us. First video, we covered part of it with iron and then we covered all of it with seaweed. With the test patch now, the bit that we covered with iron, it doesn't seem to have any effect on it. So the test section, that test section, I'm now going to cover all of it with iron and see how that reacts. You can see here, this is the area that we put the iron onto whenever we first seeded it. And I don't think it's had much effect on the other, on the rest of it. So I'm gonna cover the rest of that now in iron. So to have a quick look at this, you can see here's the bit we, we didn't put any iron on, we just put seaweed on here. And then the test patch here, this is where the iron was. Now I'm gonna say that it's just not doing just as well as this bit over here, but not as bad as I thought. I didn't think it would grow at all. Whenever we'll have a look at the corners of the lawn, you can see that ground all cracking up. So that might be what's going on down the bottom, that the corners might not have been getting water just as well as these other bits. back here to do the first cut on the test patch on our last video we put seaweed and iron onto this bit and it's visibly greener than the rest of it so let's get the battery lawnmower out and give it its first cut Welcome back, over two months into the project. This section here we killed off. I actually thought this had some clover seed in it along with some grass seed. Turns out it's a slow growing grass seed, the same as this side here. As you can see, we've just measured it and the slow growing bit isn't as slow growing yet. So this bit here is, is pretty much the same length 
as the ryegrass and then our test patch is longer than the other two but there's not much in it. Whenever we take a walk over to this one here, this one here is really long but this is just still going through the growth stage This because this one's a bit newer. The, just for reference, the, we're filming this on a Thursday and the lawns were cut on last Sunday. So we've about five days growth here and we're going to give it another cut now. Now I've got the grass cut, I'm going to start doing something else. I'm going to lightly scarf and birdie cut just the two halves of both sections to see what happens and will it affect the grass for long term. So we'll have over here if this is our this is our slow grown bit. This is our slow grown bit here. And this is the bit with the rye grass. So I'm just gonna do a couple of stripes up either side. I'm gonna have to be quick because here comes the rain. Light scarf eye stroke body cut, light leave. We're left sort of right over a bit of line and then you can see a bit more scarf and body cutting here. When we're gone, since we did the vertical mowing and the lawn mow, we're gonna have a look and see what height the different sections are at. This area here, this was our weed grass area that we vertically cut last week. This area here, we didn't vertically cut, it's slightly darker than the area that we did vertically cut. This is our everyday lawn, this is darker as well. Whenever, another step over, and we're into the area that we vertically cut on our everyday lawn. We go on over, and now we're into the slow grow stuff. There's a I don't know whether or not the camera picks it up, but there's a definite difference in the colour and how well the grass is growing between the bit that was very cut and the bit that wasn't. New bit of grass, the newest bit of grass that we put in. This bit, the very cutting didn't do it any favours at all. It, it looks really thin in places. That's our cut done. As you can see, at the minute, the grass still hasn't slowed down. I put the lines into it so as we can see, clearly see the defined areas. This is the section here that had the iron down into it. It's visibly darker, it's been visibly darker the whole way through this project. This is our everyday lawn. We'll take a step across. This is our, our first slow grown grass seed. At the minute, there doesn't seem to be any difference between this bit and this bit. And then this is another meant to be a slow grown grass seed and it's grown far faster than the other two. The areas, as you might expect, that get scarified aren't doing as well. I'm not a big fan of Scarf and New Grass and this test has been just helped me reinforce that thinking. To have a look at it from our other side, we've got Bella up top helping. This bit here is growing like mad even though it's meant to be slow growing. This is our slow growing section. This is our everyday lawn. And again, this is the bit that we'll put the iron on, visibly darker. It's 10 days since our last visit to the test patch. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna feed the lawn, but before I do that, we're gonna go into the workshop for a chat. Welcome into the workshop. Before we begin, let's get the lights turned on. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is the scarification stroke light verde cutting. I've always been led to believe that you shouldn't scarify or verde cut new grass. And I think this test maybe shows that as whenever the areas that we vertically cut and scarified 
they didn't do that well. However, if we'd have fed it, they probably would have done better. However, I didn't want to push the growth on because I was trying to grow a lawn that didn't need to be cut. The slow growing grass seed that we used in the test patch, strictly speaking, it's not meant to be used the way we used it, but more on that later. Adding iron to new grass, who would have thought? Gonna say that's gonna require a bit more testing on my part. However, I can see it catching on really soon. I need a favor from you. Well, I actually need two favors from you, but I digress. My best videos come from the questions and the comments that you guys leave me down below. The test patch has been going on for the last four months and we've been recording every step of the way. I want to find out from you what you would like to see being tested in the future. Please don't put what I'm about to tell you in the comment section of the video. The slow growing grass seed that I bought, it is slow growing, but it isn't in the lawn, unfortunately. But it was worth a shot. The grass seed is actually for motorway verges and for banked areas. The grass seed is fescues and bents and the smooth stock meadow grass. And what that is, it's very fine grass. So whenever they're growing it in banks, it grows to a certain height and then it's very thin. So it can't take the weight of itself and it falls over and that stops it from growing any further. Unfortunately, but tried it on the lawn and it didn't work out just the way we hoped for a lawn you're never going to let it get as long as it has to get on a motorway bank for that effect to happen but it was worth a go if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see your first test patch video watch this video next and i'll see you over there now